Hey guys, it's Nick, and today I'm going to talk about Nick Schmaltz and what I believe he's going to receive in his next contract that he's going to have to get next season. Because after this season, his entry level contract will be ended and he would be looking for a big pay raise because, frankly, I think he's going to get it. Even though this is going to hurt the Blackhawks and rebuild and their um, salary cap again, but Schmaltz has proven himself to be worth 6.1 million per year for five years. I honestly think he's a, that would be the same exact contract as what Dylan Larkin of the Detroit Red Wings would have. They both have the same agents. And um, they're both centers. Their stats are the exact same in their first two seasons of the NHL. And next year, I'm thinking Schmaltzy will be pushing to a 68-point season if he's on the line with Patrick Kane and Alex DeBrinket. They're... Both Larkin and De Schmaltz have, um, in their career, a .057 points per game, and they're being both centers, having the same agent. I think the agent would want to get them the exact same contract. Um, Schmaltz is part of our future plans with what the Blackhawks are looking forward to and he and Alec these are the four players the Blackhawks are looking forward to build around like what they did when they drafted Kane and Taze they had this is what the Hawks did they wanted to build around Kane, Taze, Keith and Seabrook uh, two forwards and two defensemen. This is what they're going to do now. Two forwards, two defensemen. Um, f and the two forwards are Nick Schmaltz and Alex Zabrinkit. And the two defensemen, Henry Yerkiharu and Adam Boquist. And this is how they're going to want to, per se, build towards a re- contending team. Right now they are not a con Stanley Cup contender as they sit, but if they look to find the exact players to fit around Schmaltz, Debrinket, Yerke Haru, and Boquist in the upcoming years, the Hawks will be a contender again. Schmaltz is our part of our future plans, same with Alex Zabrinka and with the how the Hawks already stated when they weren't going when they did not go for um Jeff Skinner of the um now Buffalo Sabres then he when he was on the um Carolina Hurricanes, the key player um Hurricanes wanted was Nick Schmaltz. And the Hawks did not budge on giving up Schmaltzy, who's part of our rebuild. I know we can get back to the playoffs next year if Corey Crawford's out 100%. But with Nick Schmaltz probably looking for a big pay raise, you'll be look expecting him a big point production jump. Which I it won't, it wouldn't surprise me if he does that. He's actually currently probably my favorite player on the team as we as the Hawks sit right now. That's why I'm wearing his jersey. I just like his style of play. 6.1 million is a high number for per year for 5 years, so I'm trying to I can't I can't figure that into the math right now. I'm kind of trying, but whatever. But 6.5 per 5 years is actually a solid contract with the salary cap going up, even though 
this means the Blackhawks won't pro they most likely won't it bring back Panarin. Which sucks, but if we want to actually do a right rebuild, build around the young players that already are flourishing into stars, you it would be a smarter plan than bring back Panarin and go for Copper Bust. And right now, I know our the Blackhawks slogan is one goal, but our goal is to rebuild the right way, and maybe that means a good, smart decision by signing, locking up Nick Schmaltz early in the this I think early in the season lock him up get him signed five years for and 6.1 per year smart decision if that ever happens Stan Bowman has a lot of things to do to fix uh, fit this into salary cap because the following year Alex Sabrinket contracts up and he's going to be looking for a pay raise so we are back at that point where the Blackhawks are looking at pay raises and they need to f keep getting salary cap to do these pay raises. Because they dump a lot of cap and they haven't done any moves yet this offseason, really. That's why they only sign players to one-year deals except for frickin' Brandon Manning. So to understand that contract, but I'm expecting the Hawks to lock up Schmaltzy here shortly. But leave a comment down below on what your thoughts on what Nick Schmaltz should get in his next contract, and if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. And most of all, let's go Hawks.